praises to Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem, Racha Kodash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. It means I am, or He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. It means He, is, I am who saves, or He is who saves. Racha Kodash is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. Just want to chat about Romans 9.22. Where uh, Esau, let me see if I can find it. Romans 9.22. I do want to see the King James Version. What if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, he endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath threatened to, de to destruction? Let's see the whole chapter. Let's get some more context on it. Had not the power, the, not the pot of power over the clay, or the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. So you can make if you if you've got the clay, if you're the clay master, if you're the potter, you can make one lovely. If you wish to, you can make one nice pot, and you can make an ugly pot. What if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? So that is to say certain vessels are fitted or destined to destruction. One second, let me get something else on this. So I just got uh I just jumped into my sword to get the same scripture. So what if God willing to make so let's have a look at honor and dishonor he made one vessel in honor and other one into dishonor disgrace reproach shame and if god um willing to make his power known and judge with much long suffering the vessels of wrath let's see wrath anger movement or agitation of the soul you know so they're the, they're the people that are meant to bring anger or trouble to Israel fitted to destruction fitted is the word I was actually looking for to render to fit to mend to fit out to equip ethically to strengthen complete yeah to frame for oneself or to prepare so to fit out to equip so these people are prepared for destruction they're there for the purpose of being destroyed and 23 and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessel's mercy of mercy which have afore prepared unto glory and we know that um the lord knows this from the beginning and the knows the end from the beginning and also that you know the elect were chosen from the beginning so um and i think that's in deuteronomy uh where it uh, talks about how the elect have been chosen from the beginning of time that he might know in the uh, 24 even us unto he hath called even us whom he hath called not of the Jews only but also of the Gentiles as he saith also in OC I will call them my people which were not my people and her beloved which was not beloved that is bringing people back, you know, like bringing people back. It's not, as some people might say, ah, oh, the Gentiles are part of Israel. No, it's like, which were not, which previously were not. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall be called the children of the living God. And this is what we're going to see. We're going to see. So, basically, what I'm coming from with this quick lecture is just to say that um, all these things that are happening to to certain kind of people at the moment or to Esau, let's just say it straight, that is all part of God's plan and they are fitted. That's, that's their job. That's what their destiny is. That's where they're going. 
and then I, I'm quite sure they feel it in their soul. They know that's where they're going. That's where it's all going to end up. So, um, as I saw in another, another thing, just you know, watch it happen, watch it play out. Keep faith. Keep pushing. Keep studying the scriptures. Keep fasting. Keep praying. Keep uh, keep keeping on. With that, I'm going to say shadow on.